say, golly, the only way to travel these days. Am I right, son? Yes, sir, it sure is. Wasn't this way years back. Oh, you young people don't know how soft you've got it. Simple relaxation is a lost art these days. You just sit back and enjoy it. Yeah, no, I think Free Ski TV has the ability to drive that person to want to go experience what they just finished watching. Just love to be part of telling stories. I mean, be able to do it through skiing is unreal. It's been uh, really an all-encompassing adventure. It's just that, that journey and meeting people that are like-minded people in a totally different place. And I know it's going to be the best couple of weeks of the winter. and It's time for a good times crew to get together. It's really cool to be a part of and yeah, definitely pinch myself every now and then. There's a, there's a huge responsibility that comes with this job. It's funny because most people think my job is to prevent avalanches, not cause them. But in a lot of terrain I work in, the quickest and safest way to do that is with a helicopter and 25 kg bags of explosives. Stepping off the tram, it soon became obvious this wasn't just another mountain. And this wouldn't be just another trip. The thing that drives me to keep doing it after 40 years is producing something that is magic. You may go for days without getting any magic, and then all of a sudden that day, wow, we got the magic. That's what keeps you going. They were in Whistler in the early 50s, and uh, they were logging still there when I got here in 62. The first thing you think about when you're planning a ski trip is, is where you're going to go, and, and, and right after that you usually think, who's going with me? Salomon Friski TV. The main thing has been being at the right place at the right time with some of the craziest and most fun people in the ski industry. That's amazing for me. Jumping down the mountain, a good time, screw. <laughs>